Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the MVC patterns in Android. So um, let's look at look at the example that we're going to work on. So here I have um, a simple Android application with um, three three columns and two rows shown here. So we have three buttons and three text view, and um, the buttons will react to our clicks. So every time we click on it, it will uh, add one to the count. So the idea of this is we have the um, activities of the Android will act as the controller and the view. Um, and we have the model backend to store um, to store the values of each of these count. So um, let's dive into it. Um, open Eclipse. Create a new Android project. Let's name it um, MVC Patterns. Let's choose the um, target to be Android 2.2. So the name is MVC Patterns. The package name is my name. Um, and we see that. All right. Click finish, and they will create the Android project for you. Now, if you look at the uh, source folder and then the package, um, they already create the activities for you. So now let's add the model to it. So go to class, and let's create model. Click finished. All right. So let's let's work on the model first. So our model will be. Um, let's look at the node here. It's going to be the observable. So um, basically, um, the activity <coughs> will observe the model. So if the model updating any values in the data, it will notify the observers about the changes. So the observers can act to it accordingly. So, um, and in Java, the way you make something observable is to extend that class observable. Alright, now we need to uh, import it from Java U2. Okay. Now we have, we will create the data for it. So, the data is very simple, it's just a list of integer. And to be exact, it's going to be um, a list of three integers. And we can import list. The shortcut for import is uh, Control Shift O. So when you hit that, it will automatically um, import the library for you. So um, we have that, and uh, now we can go ahead and create a constructor. So we create a constructor to be um, array list, and the size is the okay. Now what we can do is um, we will create the getter and setter for it. So. In the value index. So, um, so this this function right here, it will return the value at the appropriate index, and um, of course it will throw exception if um, this happened index now exception right now we have that so let's return the value so return and this dot get the index okay. that was easy
Now this time we will uh, create a setter. So public boy set value and index. Check in the same parameters and we will throw the same exception. Okay, now is the, um, this one will be a little complicated because uh, so this this value right this function right here will get called by the activity or the observers. So when the user click the buttons, any of this, the observers will um, handle that click event and will handle or actually will hand it to the model so that the model can handle the click which is um, the model will add one to the count and then in the model in, in return after it's updating the value will notify the observers about the changes so that's this one so this one what we do is we will um, change so we will change the value at the index, we will change it by adding one to it. So let's do this, and we add one. Okay. After we do that, um, in order to set the change, we need to do this. Call this function. Set change. So set change will flag this observable to be changed. And um, we need to notify observers. Okay, this looks uh, this looks good. To me. So now we move on to the activities. Um, so this is the Android activities. When it first created, it will call the super method, and then it will uh, call this method set content view. And this one will inflate, inflate the layout. Uh, the name of that is main and XML, which is this one. So inflate this one, and as for now, um, it will just show the hello world um, and then the name of the application. Um, right, we're gonna modify it. Let's go to layout. Um, or oh, make sure you're in the graphical layout tab because. Um, so to modify this, this this two way to uh, this is kind of like the um, the GUI interface. Um, it's like what you see and what you get. And this one is the code where you can type the code and maybe feel comfortable. But um, I think this way is easier. So let's uh, throw in the table layout. All right, and um, we'll put some text on it. So as you can see right now is the table layout is at four rows, first, second, third, and fourth. Let's put on the first one. And same thing, put on the first one. Put on the first one. And then we will put a button on the second row. Alright, for the details, we can go back to the code. And uh, we'll fix it. So, as you see, we have first row, this is second row, and this is the third and the fourth. And we don't need this one. So, let's go ahead and delete that. Now, we have two rows and three items as we wanted. So, um, Let's go back here and make it uh, 